Hello, so uh, very quick follow-up video to uh, video 11, so th this isn't the official video 12. Um, but I finally got the, the build working, so a lot of stuff has happened in the background um, by Espressif and things updated as I suspected and, and got broken. Um, it, as you can see now on the screen, um, the project is building um there is one change uh compared with what was in commit video 11 on github um and that is in the cmake list for nvs32 uh simply because we're doing a header only uh, there is no source nvs32 file um dot cpp file i mean um, so there is actually nothing to compile for this, um, this component. So therefore this component is not going to be a component. Um, we could make a CPP file, but then things get a little bit complicated because of the templates. Um, <clears throat> so the easiest way to fix this is basically to, to get rid of the CMake lists. Uh, I've just stuck an underscore at the start and then it, it doesn't get recognized by the build process um, so that that's not getting built now um, because nothing is including it um, so long story short that this now builds but obviously our new NVS code isn't being built at the moment the fix uh, if you guys come across the same thing um, I basically got this error um, I'm not on the beta, but I am on 4.3. Cannot pass CMake requirements, something, something. Um, and it sort of looks okay, if you're familiar with reading error messages. It looks like, well, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, turns out that that version uh, of the build environment didn't like capital letters in component names for some reason. Not quite sure why, but anyway... Uh, so I've, I stumbled upon this issue, uh, 6964, uh, um, where Iga, uh, who is one of the Espressive guys, um, said, follow this recommendation, something, something. So if we pull, pull this up, uh, it goes to issue uh, 388. Uh, long story short, they have fixed the underlying issue and released a new version of some background package called IDF component manager. Sorry, this is really small. Good ink. There we go. Uh, IDF component manager. Uh, and it suggested to run install Python packages in VS Code. So if we go to VS Code, hit F1, you can see install extension python packages now that didn't work for me well but it runs but it didn't fix the issue um which is suggested back to the original issue uh by elijah um that it's some something weird's going on here so the fix i did because he doesn't actually say how to manually do it but he says you've got to manually do it uh, and that's what i've done so if you F1, open an IDF terminal. So if I flick over to that now, uh, you can see the command I ran here. Python dash M pip install dash dash upgrade IDF component manager. Um, there. It downloaded the, the newer version of that, which install extension packages should be doing and will do in a later version it's it's just not in this version uh, that then downloaded it'll do some requirements checks blah 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 and eventually you'll get hopefully get successfully installed idf component manager point uh, 0 0.2 point 0.1 a1 is what i've got um now the one it actually says on the github is 1A0 
um, should fix the issue. Um, but if you're doing it now, like I am, uh, you should get 1A1. It'll automatically detect that. Oh, in fact, interestingly, I was on 1A0 before because it uninstalled it. So maybe it's 1A1 you need and that get up slightly wrong. But anyway, that, that's all I did. And then all of a sudden this now builds correctly. Um, so that looks good. So let us include uh, our nvs32.h that we've written. So now that will get included uh, because there is no CMake for this because it's, it's commented out with a dash underscore. And let's build and see if we've got any errors. I would expect we probably do. It's very rare you write code and you haven't made a typo somewhere or done a stupid. Uh, it's worth noting I also went into my ESPIDF directory um, and did a git pull and a git submodule update dash dash in it dash dash recursive usual thing um, and then reran install.bat and then export.bat as well whether that's required or not I don't know um, but that was actually the first thing I tried so it it, it, it was done by default um, so can't find the file yes that's a good point So we need to do nvs32 slash that. Yeah, we'll, I'll try and sort the CMake out. Uh, I need to figure out how you include, but not build. Probably going to have to stick it in here. Yeah, I'll think of a nice way of doing that, or the proper way of doing that, and, and figure it out. No such file or directory. Right, it's still going to be a pain, is it? Uh, so we need to dot dot slash that. So dot dot slash takes you back a directory, so then we'll be an application, and then it should find nvs32 as the folder, uh, and then nvs32.h is the file. Yeah, I'll I need to figure out a way of including that properly, so we don't have to have this, this because I don't like that at all. It's perfectly valid. There's no, nothing wrong with it. It's just not doesn't look very good. Um, so a declaration of sin. Oh yeah, of course, because. T has not been declared because I'm an idiot and it's a capital T. Oh, so you got 10 points to whoever spotted that. I'm sure there'll be someone out there who spotted that I did a lowercase by mistake. Uh, so that looks okay. It may now still not compile because of the template. No, it should do actually. So this later error about the templates wrong. That's because it couldn't build these functions because I got them wrong. So that might that might actually auto resolve itself. Ah, but the verify won't. Alright, we'll chip away at this one step at a time together. Um, 
You'll also notice I've started putting in uh, some doxygen, deoxygen uh, type comments and uh, stuff. So I'll get, I'll, I'll do that sort of as as we go, but between episodes. Yeah, okay, so that's built correctly. I'm still slightly concerned that there was an error before. And that should be static, that's why. So we've got two functions with the same prototype. Let's just rebuild that. And then I'm going to open up. Uh, what are we creating an instance of here? Oh, we do get an instance of Wi-Fi. Okay, that's good. I was going to actually use this, but we'll save that for the next video. So what we'll do is we'll just include it so it so we can confirm it at least it's getting built um, so what we want is in wi-fi.h uh, in our private stuff down here where should this belong Let's just stick it at the end for the moment. Uh, what do we call it? Oh, NVS, NVS. Lots of NVS. Um, so we'll do that. It's going to be default initialized and it is const expert. Um, yeah, we should put some consts on these things. So that's going to be const. That's going to be const. No, because the f no, it can't be because the API calls a C. No, we can't do that. Ignore me. Um, so that's there like that. Then we shall do because I've made it static and made my life hard. We'll put it up here with the statics. Uh, and that's going to be default initialized. Will it build? Will it build an object of our class? Will it create an object of our class, should I say, or an instance? And our survey says, looks good. Will it, will it link? Yes, it will. Fantastic. So that now builds. I'll push this code up. Um, usual as usual, the link will be uh, the link to the commits will be in the video description, uh, and I'll see you on the proper episode twelve, where we'll actually uh, do some reading and writing and verifying and stuff, and and see what happens. See you then.